Shalom amigos, I'm the Lender Dude. I deeply apologize again for the delay in putting up videos. Remember when I said school comes first? Yeah, I may not even be able to make a weekly schedule. May not even be able to make a monthly schedule. It may be next year before everything is sorted out, but it'll be calm before we know it. Um, I would like to thank everybody for being patient and subscribing, getting me to one about 50 subscribers and over 9,000 video views. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. So, as you know, not completely inactive, but whatever spare time I have mostly goes to Awesome Reloaded, which has been uploading videos, by the way. No, we still, uh, we still need a lot of work. We are not 100% satisfied with what we have done. But if we were, then we really have no business in film. Should stop what we're doing and train on being mailman or something. No offense to mailman. But yeah, you can see us progress over the years, make suggestions. If you see something in there that you're like, hey, how was that made? Feel free to post a comment. Depending on how much of a hand I had in it, I may be able to either explain it to you or just uh, make a video on it. So, over to Blender. First of all, let me just say that uh, I was asked in the past on how it is to get in sync with like your video and something you're trying to do with 3D. I assume he was trying to do some lip sync. So I'll explain some of the best ways. First and foremost, click on the audios and click on caching and draw waveform. I think I may be, may be pronounced caching. And a caching or caching will help your audio stay in sync. Though of course if you have a lot of stuff going on in your video viewport here, then it will not play in the frames per second that it's supposed to. So be sure to hit Alt A or the play pause button repeatedly just to make sure things are in sync. You always want to be safe. Then drive waveform helps if you have like those long pauses and you don't want to mistakenly put the audio in the wrong place. Next favorite feature, go down to playback and click on audio scrubbing. Forgive me if I miss something or am too smooth. I have a new mouse, it's a Logitech M570 wireless trackball mouse and I do not see myself going back to an optical mouse again, I am serious. Anyway, what audio scrubbing does is as you move left and right with the arrow keys or go anywhere in the timeline, you'll actually be able to hear whatever sound is playing on where you are in the timeline. After that it's all manual, unless of course you've set up a facial motion capture rig. So hope that helps really anybody out so back over here I have let me just select actually not even select anything let me go out over to my multicam selector to show you oh it's by the way really really great feature that helps out a ton shift s is the snap feature rather than manually clicking and dragging or pressing G I was just overcomplicating it. For real. Anyways. As you see, I have three different video footages here. Which this guy is going to pass himself who's going to pass himself a bottle of water. Or in this case I think that's hydrogen peroxide, but anyways. That's what's going to happen. We're going to talk about cloning, in case you cannot tell already. So in this particular one, you will have to do some rotoscope type work by going over into the 3D viewport, into top view, and going to your user preferences, control alt use, the shortcut hotkey thing. You're going to have to import images as planes, and also Get the Road of the Zero plugin up and run so that you can import your video files and then use the Bezier's for your animation to do rotoscoping type stuff. I said that already. 
Anyways. But if your characters remain stationary and it's just like talking to one another. Well actually I get that into that in a bit, but for this kind of thing you want to make sure everything is in sync, so what really helps is if you turn down the opacity. Or opacity. Whatever way is that pronounced. That way you can see when one hands the cup or bottle to the other and put it in sync. I've already done so, this is just a new file because I forgot to save. So, I'm not going to go through that again. That's why these audio files remain video edited. I already have three separate parts over here. Each with a video edited part, ready for rotoscoping. But as I was saying, if these three guys remain stationary completely, maybe just talking to one another, then that's really overcomplicating it and there's a much easier way. I swear, I love this mouse. Anyway, here's a really cool trick that you can do with the white plugin. One of the best plugins, favorite plugins, effect strips in Blender. Now, by default, it's just this boring wipe. First, let's go down to its options. Hit the angle, set it to 90. Alright, however, we have to remove its default settings. Default fade. This will give us the option to animate it itself or just simply move it. I'm going to simply move it since I do not need to animate it because they're going to remain in one place. If I wanted to animate it, I could just hit I, go forward, and hit I again. Like that would be one of the places where I'd want to animate it. As you can see, there is a little bit of... I'm not sure what the term is, so I'm just going to say that doesn't look right in there. Luckily, we have a blur width. To just give it a small... subtlety. Actually, would probably want to increase that. There. However, we still need to get the third guy in there. You cannot see him at all right now. Why is this? In reality, this is the culprit. Because this guy is on top. He's part of the video footage. You only see these two guys because... I clicked on these two. I made a white plugin out of those two. This guy's not included, and therefore... is not seen. So the next step would not be to click on these two and then do a wet plugin because you'd only see those two. It goes by whatever is on top. If I were to get this guy and move him above, you'd see him. You have to get this guy to be a part of this guy. So click on this guy, shift right click on that guy, and then make a wet plugin out of them. Remove the default fade, change the angle to 90. and would probably want to make it in rather than out. And voila! Ladies and gents, some really quick and simple cloning done right within Blender's video editor. Now that is unfortunately all the time I have for. I should be getting back to doing this and possibly also making a video for my other channel while I still have some spare time. Thank you guys for watching again.
If you want to make any suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment. Hope this helped you out. If you make anything using this information, also feel free to put it as a video response. Thank you guys again. Shalom amigos.